Scott Pay for those who are new. What's poppin'? What's good, y'all? How you guys doing out there? Oh my god, today's video is actually like being recorded in 2020. Like the last video that you guys just seen, the holiday one that was before 2020, but this is like real life, you know, live in the stereo 2020, you know? Um, so happy mother new year. Um, just blessed to see another year behind us. I'm about to be 25. Oh my god, my birthday is January 23rd, and I cannot believe I'm about to be a whole quarter of a year. Like, What is happening here in my life? I, I don't know. But, I mean, time waits for no man, so moving along. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a um, how I tuck my hair into a bob. If you guys watched my previous Julia hair review, um, I showed you guys how I actually curled the hair, and you guys seen that the hair was pretty long. Um, the bleach and everything um, that I did on the hair um, was a lot. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and just cut it for one because I wanted something different and then for two it just needed a, a quick little trim. So um, if you guys want to know how I achieved um, this cute Fabiana look, then let's get into the video. <laughs> crazy because like I don't have nothing on my lips or anything like that but besides the point um basically what I'm doing right now is I am taking the wig off the mannequin head and I'm putting on putting it on my head after every single cut so right now I'm currently filming flip you guys around there you guys go there is I um so basically every time I cut something if it's an inch if it's a half an inch if it's a centimeter i'm taking it off and i'm seeing how it looks because the worst thing you want to do is to just go crazy with the cutting and then you get done with the wig and it's, it's up here you know what i'm saying like you got to take it off every single time to make sure that it is suitable for your liking so right now i am pretty short but i want a little little tiny bit more bobiana so i'm going to continue to just cut one more time
hair is I rock with it. I'm not even gonna hold you. I do fuck with it. Um, I feel like the hair was a great price for the wig. Um, the wig is still holding it up pretty, pretty strong. Um, and as you guys can see in the video, the hair did get a little bit damaged because of the bleaching. But as you can see now that it's cut, I'm gonna show you guys the cut. That I had a um touch up in the back, so don't judge me, okay? But in the back. And then this side as well. So, um, yeah, the bleach was a lot. Like I said, I bleached his hair probably three to four times. Um, and that is a lot to put on hair to. And I told you guys in a previous video that it bleached so fast that I was scared it was going to over process. But it did get dry um, at the ends. Um, I did have to keep putting some type of serum. So I would use my sea chips, my cheese. Ooh, wow, can't talk. <laughs> my cheese silk infusion, my Garnet Foods Tea Sleek and Shine, and as well as the Fantasia um, like hair polish -er that I mentioned in my last video as well. Um, so I was like carrying those in my purse, and throughout the day I would just spritz or just put some oil through it just to keep it moisturized because it would get a little bit dry throughout the day. So that's the only thing I can say that the hair, if you do decide to buy this hair or purchase a wig from them, um, and you do decide to bleach it, if it bleaches as fast as it did for mine, you might experience some dryness, but that's nothing that serum, moisturizing conditioner can not oh. fix. Would I buy this wig again? Yes, I already have. <laughs> I have purchased another wig from them to wear for my birthday trip coming up. Um, my birthday is January 23rd. Um, if I think I said it earlier in the video, but <laughs> my birthday is January 23rd, I'm going out of town. So I did purchase another wig and I did keep that wig actually black. I watercolor dyed it to be a jet black because um, I wanted just straight jet black hair. Um, but I ordered the same exact wig in the Body Waves and it is gorgeous and I ordered it in 26 inches. So if you guys want to see a review on that wig, let me know. I'll do a review. I just didn't do an initial review because I'm like, well, I just kind of did the same review. So I didn't want it to be too repetitive. So if you guys want to see it, I'll film it. But I didn't want to be too repetitive here. But um, I have purchased from them again with my own money. They did not send this to me. They did not ask me to talk nice about the company or anything like that. They don't even know I exist. Um, but I did actually just trust them with my money. And I'm really satisfied with the two weeks that I purchased so far. I feel like these wigs I would have for a long time. I'll be able to gift this away if I wanted to. Um, and it's still holding up pretty well. I feel like after I cut it, it got back that body and shine that it was kind of missing from it being longer and also for it being drier. So I do like that the actual cut just kind of brought the hair back to life. And I also use the um, Ozzy Moisture Conditioner. Hold on, I'm going to show you guys what I use. All right, I'm back. <laughs> so these are the two shampoo and conditioners I use. This is the Ozzy Miracle Moist Shampoo. And then this is the same exact one, just in the conditioner. So if you guys need to screenshot it, here it is. So these are the two, um, and I got this from Walmart. They come in a value set. I think it was like $9. Um, so I use that to wash the hair, and I do let the hair air dry. And then after that, I let it air dry, and I straightened it out. I uh, put a pressing comb at the top so everything can be like laid down and then I cut it. So um, yeah, pretty easy. Uh, my final thoughts are it didn't give me too much shedding. Um, the only shedding that was caused from is um, the actual dryness. So I will say that's the only like con to it is that the hair is pretty dry. But it's because I bleached it like three, four times. So I can't really fault them. But the hair did get dry, um, and then once it was dry, it was prone to breakage, of course, because once your hair is dry, it's brittle, and it just kind of breaks off. So I did get that when I would comb it. Sometimes I would get kind of like, you know, little shedding on my lap. Um, so that's the only thing that I could really say is that it had a little shedding because the hair was dry. So if you plan on bleaching the hair, do not use 30, 30 volume developer because that's what I use. I would do maybe 10 or 20 um, because the hair bleaches so fast. But I have no complaints about it. It lasted me. I've had
had this I've had this actual unit since September and it is January. So that is a very long time for a wig that was bleached three, four times, um, that was pressed out, curled, flat ironed, and worn every single day. That was like my work wig. So I wore it everywhere. Um, so I feel like it was a really great price as well. Um, I'll leave the price right here. I can't remember the actual price, but I'll leave it on the screen. Um, so yeah, I feel like it was a good price for it. And like I said, I still have this bob that I'm going to rock until I put on my birthday wig. Um, but I still will be, you know, re resorting back to this if need be. If I just want something really, you know, cute and like quick, you know, and I don't have to really, you know, do too much to, I will throw this one on. So I do like it. I do recommend it. Um, if you guys want to purchase from Julia Hair, I'll leave their links down below because I know for me it's easier when you just leave the links instead of me having to go try to find it myself. And I also like to know what website to go to because they have so many different websites sometimes. So I'll leave the exact link that I ordered my hair from so <laughs> you guys will get the same product. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys have tried Julia Hair, please let me know um, your experiences down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it what you hate about it what you love about it let me know down below but that is the end of this video i hope that you guys enjoyed if you did do not forget to give this video a thumbs up comment down below what you'd like to see from me next and do not forget to subscribe to the family thank you guys so much for all your continual support i truly truly appreciate it and i'm so blessed to have you all supporting me so